The P30, unlike the P30 Pro, has a headphone jack. For the S10, you can find a 3.5mm audio jack, a headphone jack which some users may not like if they prefer it to be on the bottom, and a headphone jack for the Mi 9T. What's up guys, Joey here at Fugatec, and when Apple released the first iPhone back in 2007, it essentially became the blueprint for all modern day smartphones, with one of its main objectives being blurring the line between a cell phone and a music player. Because back in those days, I'm sure some of you remember, we had to carry a cell phone and an iPod. And following that concept, ever since the first iPhone, the headphone jack has been a quintessential aspect of the audio experience in a smartphone, until Apple decided it wasn't. In 2017, 10 years later, they decided to completely ditch it with the release of the iPhone 7. To this day, it still remains one of the most controversial tech moves of all time, but it doesn't stop there. Naturally, their competitors mocked them. Google with the commercial of the original Pixel and Samsung with the Galaxy Note 8 commercial. But even those two eventually caved in. Google ended up ditching the headphone jack with the Pixel 2 and Samsung, which has historically been a champion for the headphone jack, completely killed it just this month with the launch of the Note 10. And this isn't just about flagship phones. Since companies like Apple and Samsung are industry trendsetters, other companies have followed suit as well. This means that even mid-range phones and entry-level phones have been affected. The reason? Basically, they want to streamline their designs. If you were to remove the physical space where the headphone jack resides, that frees up more space for other components. And it should allow for a sleeker form factor. Point is, the headphone jack is dying. But you already know that. The question is, as consumers, what now? Well, at least right now, there are at least a few options left if you really want your phone to have a headphone jack. Your first and most obvious option, of course, is to buy a phone that still does have a headphone jack. Brands like LG, Oppo, Nokia, and others still usually have headphone jacks on most of their phones. But if there's a particular brand of phone you like and you still want a headphone jack, you also might want to consider going for an older model. The pros of this approach are obviously you get a headphone jack, but you also might be getting some extra special features from the headphone jack, such as a high quality DAC like the ones found on LG phones, or you can even have software features like Dolby Atmos support. Another option which on the surface seems like the lamest option is to use a dongle. I know right, dongles, really? Hold on. Yes, using the Type-C or Lightning to 3.5mm dongle included in the box is not the most elegant solution, but it's not the only type of dongle you have access to. You can also go for a specialized type of dongle that has a DAC and an amplifier, which allows you to also use really high-quality headphones. However, a dongle can be a hassle to carry around, it can be easily misplaced with its small size, and it's an additional step that shouldn't be necessary. Not to mention the fact that when your dongle is connected, you can't charge your phone your third option is to settle for earphones that have a Type-C or Lightning connector. With this, you no longer need to carry a small dongle all the time, but you can't always use them with your other devices like your laptop or your PC for example. And finally, of course, if you've just accepted your fate of no headphone jack, you can just go wireless. Over time, wireless earphones and headphones have been getting better and relatively cheaper. There are wireless headphones out there from brands like Sony, Bose, and Sennheiser that have really good sound quality and noise cancelling. There are ones with great connectivity and an ecosystem like the Apple AirPods and Samsung Galaxy Buds, and there are really cheap ones with decent quality like the Redmi AirDots. So while this does solve the problem of needing a headphone jack, you also don't have wires in the way, they also come with downsides like latency or delay issues, codec support, and not to mention, it's another battery that you have to charge. And for true wireless models like this one, like, what if you lose one of them? And for audio files out there, they're simply not gonna be as good as a pair of wired cans. But in that light, what if killing the headphone jack was a good thing after all? Maybe we should be appreciating it because eventually, Wireless headphones will get so good that they're indistinguishable in quality and just as easy to use as traditional wired earphones. But then again, should they really have taken away the option in the first place? It's an interesting thing to think about and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave your opinions in the comments down below. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, I'll see you guys next one.